guys, in this video, let's talk about another sampling technique, systematic sampling. You will learn what systematic sampling is and the pros and cons of this sampling technique. Suppose all of a population's members are the same for one or more dimensions. In other words, a population is logically homogeneous. Then you could conduct systematic sampling by creating a list of all members of the population and selecting every nth individual. For example, with the easing of COVID restrictions, some countries decided to only test some people arriving from abroad. The countries do not expect to see a significant difference between selecting a number of passengers uniformly at random and testing every fourth passenger who gets off the plane. So they simply test every fourth person instead of everyone. This sampling technique is easy to implement and efficient. Once we have selected a target population, we only need to decide the sampling interval and the starting point. Then we are able to identify members of our sample. However, there are some drawbacks to this method. One drawback is it is vulnerable to periodicities or patterns in the list. For instance, if the list of passengers alternates between men and women, then selecting every first person may only capture women. So the ordering of the list is important. You should not use systematic sampling if your population is ordered cyclically or periodically, as your resulting sample cannot be guaranteed to be representative. All right, we just learned systematic sampling. We have two more sampling methods to go. There are stratified sampling and the cluster sampling. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.